somehow we've transformed it into this idea of like fixing or replacing uh, the human body and, and that's not what a prosthetic does. It extends uh, the wearer's ability, it extends the wearer's self. It's an addition to the body. The reactions to people wearing uh, the third thumb for the first time have been great. Cut to reaction clips now. <laughs> it is something very weird. I made sure to, to capture that first moment uh, that it moved on the hand. Um, it's a very unusual, unique experience. I've got a flexible 3D printed thumb attached to a, a 3D printed handpiece uh, with a flexible hand attachment. And then I've got a watch strap, garden cables running down from the thumb into two motors and then two Bluetooth um, controllers as well. They're connected to the Bluetooth controllers uh, in my shoes, which are connected to pressure sensors in, underneath my toes. Um, I find the thumb movement just so awesome. It's it's so uniquely human uh, in its movement, and it's a really big challenge for prosthetic hands um, to, to create the thumb. And one day uh, went like that. Just found that really interesting. Um, just the, creating the mirroring over the hand. There was something uh, kind of quirky and weird and nice about it. Um, I'm now collaborating uh, with University College London uh, with some neuroscientists in their brain plasticity lab and we're really focusing on uh, what's going on in the brain um, when you add an extra digit to the hand. The third thumb was really my first uh, moving prosthetic and, uh, and since then I've now been designing uh, prosthetic arms with the Alternative Limb Project uh, for model Kelly Knox and really just kind of trying to push the boundaries of, of the aesthetic of, of prosthetic design.